about the comic book landscape of thing and the business and profession. We're going to right head to San Diego Comic Con, and at least it's going to be about comic books because half the other stuff or uh, everyone else is on strike, it appears. So it's weird. And this is an older story in a way. But bear with me here because this is about the uh, Golden State Convention. And this was a tweet. Scott Kurtz tweeted this. Let me take my graphic. It's strange. So Scott Kurtz tweeted this. If a comic convention hosts or sells tables to people in Comics Gate, is it wrong for me to want to pressure them to kick out those people? Because I want to, I really want to. Hashtag Garden State Comic Fest, right? Okay. So listen, Scott, I think you're an awful person for wanting to do that, but that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is to point out over when you click that hashtag, and this is where I'm, this, the premise of the video is this, like, what is good for business? Like, what is bringing people in? What should these conventions be doing? How do you sell comic books? What do you do? You click that hashtag and you know what you see? You see Ethan Van Sciver. There's uh, Dan Fraga. There's Fraga Boom. Look at Graham Nolan. Look at this. Posing with photos. Here's another. Here's uh, Louise Simonson. All right. There's Louise. Okay. When you click all the stuff, you're like, well, wait a minute. This is mostly, we ended up down the, down the rabbit hole. And I'm like, I end up with like a whole bunch of like comic skate people, EVS people. I'm like, what's good for business is them tweeting about it, them sharing pictures, them doing all of this. And this is what I find. It's like it's just over and over again. It tends to be, you know, these type of people. And I'm like, wait, wait, I don't understand. Let me let me get to let me, let me pull up the the uh, Ethan Van Scott. Well, that, well, first, okay, well, yeah, here, Ethan. Here's one. Here's one with Ethan. All right, so you click the hashtag and you pull up stories, and you're like, well, who? What is what is actually going on? And you end up with like, okay, this is Ethan Van Skyver sharing Cecil's huge crowd. Cecil says, and there's pictures of Ethan, Graham, Fragaboom. You, you go down the list and you're like, wait a minute. Billy Tucci is there. Andy Smith. Them at dinner. I'm like, Ethan again. Ethan again. Ethan again. And you're like, here's Scott. And it's like, yeah, what's good for business, Scott? Having them there? Because I don't see you tweeting 16 hashtags of who you saw and what you did. I see a few random things from other folks. I see other people. Um, that's a great picture of Cobra Commander, by the way. Thanks for sharing that, lady. Good cosplay right here, right? So you see a few things, but I don't see Scott Kurtz blowing up the hashtag and trying to promote the convention and, and promote all the good experiences and stuff like that. I see other folks doing that. But I don't see you doing that. I also saw a whole bunch of comic skate people promoting their look. Here they are again at the end. So it's like I see them promoting lots of stuff. I see them promoting meeting with people and hanging out. No one seems to have a major problem with them. So what's good for business? Is it people that are trying to get other people to this convention and sell comic books who are posing with folks who are drawing uh, sketches and commissions and doing that kind of thing, Scott, or is it you just trying to blow something up? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand this, this motivation of just being a destroyer of someone or something and you're not building anything up in, even in its place. You're not even saying this is bad. Do this instead. I mean, we're just presuming that you're saying these guys are bad by Marvel and DC, but I sure didn't see a whole bunch of Marvel and DC people in there sharing all their commissions and all their sketches and all their poses either. I'm seeing mostly these guys doing it. So isn't it possible that maybe EVS and comics gay people are really good for business? And even if you don't like them and maybe you even hate them, um, maybe you should try to figure out how to compete to offer the same type of promotion, the same sort of positive to the benefit for the convention. And here we are headed into San Diego Comic-Con 
this is really, really going to be on the table about who is doing what, because a lot of the high profile stuff that gets all these headlines isn't going to be there. So this is a, uh, an open field for everyone to play and, and have a chance to kind of make a name for themselves and see who they really are and let their character really shine through. So anyway, I know it's a little bit of an older tweet story and that kind of thing, but I'm like heading into this weekend with all the different things going on. I thought it was an interesting uh, story to bring up. So anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, like where we're at on things. I kind of feel like the tenor has come down some, but I don't really get caught up in a lot of this drama. So I don't think I'm a really good barometer of that. So anyway, that's my take on it. Thanks for listening. I'm Pops. Yeah. <laughs> right?